Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of global semiconductors Samsung and SMIC. The semiconductor market is unpredictable. Under the rules, major semiconductors have adjusted their shipping strategies one after another. In addition, Consumers have little desire to purchase consumer products, such as smartphones and computers, which has led to a downward trend in the market. In the case of major semiconductor giants cutting capital expenditures, Samsung and SMIC go against the trend and increase their layout. What are the specific actions? What is the point of going against the trend? Samsung wants to purchase 10 EUV lithography machines. The chip industry in the past few years can be described as twists and turns. The original development trend of globalization was broken under the rules, and then there was a global chip shortage. Hundreds of industries such as mobile phones and automobiles were affected. By 2022, the problem of core shortage has finally been alleviated, but the problem of overcapacity has also emerged. Take the smartphone market as an example. Major manufacturers have seen increased inventories and reduced shipments. Because the replacement cycle has been greatly extended, they will basically not buy new phones unless necessary. Smartphones are the main sales area of chips in the world. Each smartphone is equipped with hundreds of chip components. After the mobile phones cannot be sold, the shipments of chip manufacturers also decrease. Qualcomm has changed from a shortage of chips at the beginning to rushing to clear inventory, and companies such as NVIDIA, Micron Technology, and AMD are also busy clearing inventory. What makes the situation more complicated is TSMC. As the world's largest chip foundry giant, customer chip shipments have decreased, and TSMC has naturally been cut off. In response to customers cutting orders, TSMC reduced its capital expenditure in 2022 from 44 billion US dollars to 36 billion US dollars and also tried to shut down several EUV lithography machines to save energy consumption. However, unlike TSMC's move to shut down EUV lithography machines, South Korean chip giant Samsung has chosen to go against the trend and intends to acquire more EUV lithography machines to greatly increase chip production capacity. According to Korean media, Samsung Electronics plans to increase production capacity at its largest semiconductor factory despite the global economic slowdown next year. Samsung Electronics will purchase an additional 10 EUV lithography machines to increase capacity for memory chips and system semiconductors by 10% in 2023. Samsung's move is incompatible with the industry's reduction of capital expenditures. However, not only Samsung, but SMIC has also begun to deploy and has also made a move against the trend. According to the plan announced by SMIC, four 12-inch wafer factories will be built in Beijing, Shanghai, Tianjin, and Shenzhen to produce 28 nanometers chips, with a total investment of about 170 billion yuan. Once the factories reach full production, the production capacity controlled by SMIC will rise to a higher level. Both Samsung Electronics and SMIC are stepping up their deployment efforts. One is to purchase more EUV lithography machines, and the other is to build more chip factories. 
What's the point of Samsung and SMIC going against the trend? It stands to reason that the layout actions of the two giants should be placed under the upward trend of the chip market, and more capital power should be invested to meet market demand. But now the demand for some chips continues to decline, and chip suppliers are trying to clear up their inventory. Even TSMC has to shut down several EUV lithography machines to cope with the decline in demand. So what's the point of Samsung and SMIC going against the trend? Perhaps the greatest significance lies in betting on the future. Although the current chip industry is in a downward phase, the demand for chips may continue to rise in the future. As for Samsung, SMIC is preparing for the future. Looking at it separately, Samsung just wants to take advantage of the downward trend of chips to further increase its market share. When other competitors are shrinking and dieting, Samsung can easily gain market share by increasing its layout. Moreover, according to people familiar with the supply chain, Samsung also plans to start reducing the price of memory chips in 2023, thereby increasing its market share in the global memory chip market. Samsung is the world's top semiconductor giant anyway, so it won't do meaningless things. Although Samsung is already the world's number one memory chip, Samsung has always hoped to surpass TSMC and become the world's largest system-level chip manufacturer. To achieve this, not only need to master excellent manufacturing technology, but also inseparable from strong financial resources. In the chip manufacturing industry, with tens of billions of dollars of investment at every turn, Samsung is trying to accumulate more wealth by increasing its market share in memory chips so as to enhance its competitive advantage in chip manufacturing in the future. Look at SMIC again. There is actually a reason for SMIC's 28 nanometers layout. On the one hand, 28 nanometers is a mature technology and there is no technical bottleneck. On the other hand, there is still a great demand for 28 nanometers, which is widely used in smart cars, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and other fields. Moreover, TSMC is also actively expanding 28 nanometers, spending 2.8 billion US dollars on the Nanjing factory in mainland China to greatly increase the production capacity of 28 nanometers chips. Regardless of the current attention in the industry is on high-end chips, in fact, mature chips also have great potential. For some high-performance application products, 28 nanometers is enough, which is why manufacturers are expanding 28 nanometers. When high-end chips are greatly cut, only mature chips maintain strong demand. The chip industry is changing all the time. Some manufacturers take advantage of the trend, tighten their belts, reduce capital expenditures, lay off employees and other actions in an endless stream under the industry downturn. Some manufacturers are also going upstream, betting on the future and planning ahead. Once the chip industry starts to recover, all the layouts that have been made can come in handy. Only by taking precautions can we prevent problems before they happen. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.